Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and ring that bell so you won't miss one video. Like, my content is original. I haven't seen any content, um, you know, with other channels doing what I'm doing using 3D cartoons. I have invested a lot doing this type of work, so your support will be greatly rewarded. Um, if you support me, the more people support me, the more people that watch, uh, you know, the more people that comment, this will move up the feed instead of it going down the feed. You know, um, that's just how, you know, social media works, you know, if there's no interaction or anything like that, it moves to the bottom of the feed and nobody will get the message. So it's important for you to support me and believe me, videos are gonna get a lot better. Information is gonna be a lot better. This is gonna be, you know, a very educational channel so you can defend yourself when it comes to Christianity. You know, they torture us every single day so not uh so let's not talk about this anymore let's get into was the bible right about a global flood global flood um okay what does the quran say assalamu alaikum peace be upon you subscribe to our channel we need your support let's talk about this myth about noah local flood not global the Bible insists that Noah's flood was global and no one survived except the believers who boarded the ark with Noah. However the Quran says that the flood was local and all nations other than Noah survived. Local floods are very common however there is no scientific evidence for a global flood. But stories of a global flood are found in many ancient cultures all around the globe. If it were a global flood, as portrayed in the Bible, no one would have survived other than the believers who boarded the ark with Noah. There would have been no disbelievers who didn't board the ark and survived. However the Quran says something else, it says that there were disbelievers who didn't board the ark and still survived, Quran 11:48. it was said, O Noah, disembark with peace from us, and with blessings upon you, and upon communities from those with you. And other communities we will grant prosperity and later we will hand them painful torture. Since God will punish them later then definitely they were disbelievers who were not on board the ark. If only believers boarded the ark but still disbelievers survived then this means that it was just a local flood. Those who were not in the area survived. The very next verse says that this story was not known before. Quran 11:49. These are some stories from the past that we reveal to you. Neither you, nor your people knew them before this. So be patient. The future belongs to the pious. The Bible insists on a global flood killing all disbelievers. The story in the Quran, that other disbelievers survived, was not known to previous cultures and the Quran was the first to proclaim it. In the Quran the last prophet was sent to all nations however Noah was sent to just his own people. Quran 21-107 We did not send you except as mercy to all nations. al alamin in Arabic means, all nations. The last prophet was sent to all nations, however Noah was sent to just his own people. Quran 759 We sent Noah to his people. He said, O oh my people, worship Allah, you have no God other than him. I fear for you the punishment of a tremendous day. In the Quran Noah was sent to just his own people, not to all nations. And those who were drowned by the flood were disbelievers from his own people, not from all nations. The Quran never said that God drowned all nations Alameen. However the Quran consistently said that God drowned only the people of Noah, Quran 25-37 and the people of Noah, when they rejected the messengers, we drowned them, and made them a lesson for mankind. We have prepared for the wrongdoers a painful retribution. God drowned disbelievers from Noah's own people and made them a lesson for mankind. The Quran never said that God drowned mankind. Noah was sent to just his own people, not to all nations. And Noah presented God's message to just his own people, not to all nations. And those who rejected the message were from Noah's own people, not from all nations. So God drowned disbelievers from Noah's own people, not all nations. In the Quran all other nations had nothing to do with the flood. This means that it was just a local flood. The Quran referred to the stuff Noah owned only, 
Quran 11:40 until, when our command came, and the earth oven boiled, we said, board into it a pair of every kind, and your family except those against whom the sentence has already been passed and those who have believed. But those who believed with him were only a few. Tanor is a hole in the ground for baking known as earth oven. When the ground water reached the heated oven the water boiled. But the tanor, boiled is in the singular mode, not plural. If it were a global flood then every tanor on earth should have boiled. But this wasn't the case, only the tanor that he owned. From the tanor, we know that this verse is referring to what he owned only. Similarly in the same verse the animals that boarded the ark are also animals that he owned only, not every animal on earth. There is no scientific evidence for a global flood, however local floods are very common. How could an illiterate man who lived 1400 years ago have known that there was no global flood?